Ship around the world, I'm in an orbit. I travel all across the world, I'm looking for a forest. Big bags of money, that's a forest, I need more. Cash in the bank, middle finger to the company. I begin to a yard, do a lot of talk. Swagging these travels. I am your host, L. Gunner. Gunner's Great Escapes. Swagging these travel. Swagging these is the brand. And Swagging these worldwide is the international brand, which is like the traveling brand that we do. So you guys could go pick up a hat, which is a custom made hat. You guys have to place your orders directly with us. You can hit us up on the email by visiting the website and going to contact us. Um, or you can hit us up on Swagney's brand on um, Instagram and send us a DM if you're interested in getting the Swagney's worldwide hat or any Swagney's material or items like that. You also can visit the website swagney's.com. That's www.swagney's.com. And you can grab your Whatever you see on the website is available. Everything can come right to your house, so you never have to worry about getting your items. It's gonna come directly to your house. Right at your doorstep, just like a Amazon or any other um, shopping website, you know what I'm saying? So you can always shop with us. Um, we're pretty reliable, everything is as seen on the website. So you never have to worry, oh, it's not gonna look like what it looks like in the pictures. Everything in the pictures is exactly as seen. You know, these sweatsuits right here, these are custom made, so you gotta um, put your custom order in. You cannot get them off the website. Um, they're limited edition style. We're not doing none of that. Um, pressing up a thousand you know, items and stuff like that because a lot of times you get stuck with a lot of stuff that people was not necessarily buying at the time, you know? So I like to uh, do the orders as they come in. So pre-order your Swagganese sweats um, sweatsuit or your custom Swagganese Worldwide hoodie, hats, you know, stuff like that. These are all custom made. Let's take a detour over here. Look like a cool little area. So they used to have like a school right here, right? As I was told, there used to be a school right here. Um, a nice big school. But I heard that they had a lot of violence in this in this school right here. Kids were showing up to the schools with a gun, with guns and stuff like that. So they actually knocked the school down. And I don't blame them. Because when you're trying to do, when you're trying to build a good neighborhood, a nice neighborhood, you know, um, such as this, you want to keep it quiet and keep it balanced, free, you know. You don't want to have schools in your neighborhood and kids are shooting and stuff like that around, you know, these nice, nice houses and stuff like that. Innocent people always get hit. And never be the person that they targeted. So we're now in Bayonne, New Jersey. And this was the name of the school right here. The Morris High School. College Preparatory School right there. And this is Bayonne. I'm not exactly sure what that noise was, but. Yeah, man. Swagging these worldwide. Swagging these travels. Gunner's Great Escapes. And we out in Bayonne today. You know, we just did the west side of like Jersey City, heading over towards this way. So you might see a little bit of that. But right now we heading over to the, the Bayonne Park, which is like a nice little park that you can uh, hang out at. Nice cool water over there. You like pretty much on the waterfront. Just like downtown um, Jersey City. 
aside from the view. You don't have the view of the city in the background, but you do have a nice little uh, comfortable area to just to hang out and chill. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna show you guys that. And I'll tune back in with y'all when I get there. Now we enter in the park right here. It's the Hudson County, Hudson County uh, Park right here. And this is the park right here, y'all. Like I said, this is a cool park. They got a giant playground over there for the kids. So if y'all wanna bring your kids out to somewhere different and somewhere quiet, ain't gotta worry about people shooting and doing dumb shit. This is definitely a neighborhood to come to. This is Bayonne, New Jersey. Nice size park over here, man. Um, you also can park your cars inside. As you can see where the cars are going down there, you can park your cars over there. Um, you can play soccer, do whatever you're going to do, you know? This is where all the cool people come and hang out and chill. Jeez, fire, actually. So, like I said, this is a cool park. They got the benches out here. Nice, cool, relaxing day over here, man. They on, as you can see in the, the background, I'm not sure if you guys can see it just yet, but right down there, well, all around the, the whole um, circle, this is like a giant circle. That shit goes all the way. It's probably like five, like a, nah, I can't even say that. I would say almost like a 10 block radius. Um, and just, you know, surrounded by water. You know, you got a lot of trees out. A lot of trees. So we're going into spring now. Finally, the winter is over. It wasn't that bad of a winter this year. It didn't really snow as much. But it's always better when it's springtime and going into summer. You can actually enjoy being outside. So today is a beautiful day um, just to hang out. And I'm glad you guys could enjoy the city with me and get a good view of the surrounding neighborhoods. Uh, around New Jersey area. This is Bayonne, New Jersey. I'm right next door to Jersey City. You know? And as you can see, this they have a large field here. So you can play soccer. They got the baseball fields here. Um, you know, they got this cool little walkway. Let's walk down this way first before I show you guys the other way. Kowski. So it's nice, nice, cool, cool spot, man. This is this is fire right here, man. This is fire. So if you keep walking through, actually this uh this walkway right here takes you all the way to the other side towards New Jersey City, going towards like um the 440 of New Jersey City, which is the highway that connects um Bayonne and Jersey City and it also takes you towards New York City going towards the Lincoln Tunnel and stuff like that so you got that cool bridge right there I believe that bridge is I'm not exactly sure I don't want to guess but that's a cool bridge right there so this is a cool neighborhood to um, shoot uh, shoot uh, this is a cool location to have like photo shoots and stuff like that shoot your music videos um, if you guys ever seen like some of my um, swag and these commercials and some of my photo shoots. Um, I did a few photo shoots over here. Um, I did an advertisement promo for the the Swag and East, um fanny packs. So y'all can tune into that. Y'all just type in Swag and East on YouTube and you can actually see that. So they got bathrooms here as well. So you never have to worry about the kids needing to use the bathroom or the adults as well. So they got bathrooms right here. Right on the walker. And this is actually new. I ain't seen this before. So they got a dog park here now. So 
guys could bring your animals over here. If you got dogs, you got the tennis. You can play tennis over here. Uh, play catch, baseball, whatever you want to do. This is fire. So yeah, man, this is Bayonne. This is the Hudson County Park. Nice, nice size park over here. Guys are tired of being in the hood and being around, you know. I don't want to say nothing bad about the people because some people just don't know. You know, they don't know how to enjoy life. So they confine themselves to the hood and that's all they ever get to see. But for me, I like to detour and do different things. So, you know, in the summertime, like last summer, I used to come over here and just hang out. I used to park my car towards the water and just sit there and chill. You know what I mean? You got the cool water. So you got this uh, area over here, like a seating area, um, to just hang out and just cool out. Take cool pictures right here. As you can see, you actually this you can set up your fishing rods over here and do some fishing. So. Even if you're not looking to catch fish to like eat or anything like that, but it's just a cool thing that you could just do. So set up your fishing poles and you come over here and fish. As you can see, this is amazing view, man. And this is the um, area right here. So they got this little uh, canopy here. You can sit there, catch some shade. And they have the walkway that um, takes you all through the whole park. So this walkway actually goes all the way around the whole entire park. So we're going to go through there real quick. Check out that. Got the walkway right here. Or you could just go down the steps. So we're going to come down the steps right here. Got to be careful right here. These steps is kind of steep. Some steep steps. Yeah, man. Back outside. Swagging these travels. This is uh, Bayonne Hudson County Park. And you have the amazing view of the water. I'm not exactly sure what water this is right here. Um, but nevertheless, it's a cool view. And it's definitely a nice, nice uh, place to be in the summertime, springtime. On the weekends, if you're not working during the week, you can, um, you can come over here and chill out, man. Definitely a cool, cool spot. We got the nice flags over here. So, yeah, man. This is Bayonne. This is Swaggin' Travels. I'm your host, L. Gunner. Gunner's Great Escapes. And we out of New Jersey. Hudson County Park. As I said, they got the basketball course right here as well. So y'all can all come and play basketball. You know what I mean? Everybody out, man, they full. You go in the hood, nobody play basketball no more. A lot of people be, you know, standing in front of the building, standing on the strip. You know, they don't play basketball like they, they used to when I was coming up. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's people out in the bottom of the basketball courts right now. And right across the um, this pond right here, they got like a um, workout area. So if you're interested in working out, you know, this is another place I used to come to when I when I was on my workout thing, which I'm about to get back on. Um, they got the workout center over there. So you, get, you got the chin up bar, you got the dips, and a couple of other little like cool manual machines, you know. And then they got that, that walkway right there. So you can take the walkway over there to get to the other side. Or you can walk around this area. 
I'm not gonna walk near the water because I don't want the water to, I mean, the, uh, the wind to blow my hat into the water. So, but this is another cool water area right here, a little pond that connects to the bigger water. So this is like cool, man. Cool spot to chill out at in the summertime. Or right now, spring. Everybody's out. Others is hanging out on the block doing nothing. The world goes on outside of the neighborhoods, man. The outside, man. This is swagging these travels. Bayonne. They also got a um, bathroom over here, right under here. There's a bathroom. Uh, we got the women and the men's restroom right here. So, like I showed y'all over there before. Um, when you first come in on the other side, they got another restroom over there, so they got one right here as well. So, y'all ain't got to worry about using the restroom, having to piss on the street, and shit like that. So, yeah, man. Swagging these travels, swagging these worldwide. And I am L Gunner. I mean, aka Swagging East. And this is Swagging these travels. The Bayonne edition. You out here playing soccer. You got the soccer field right here. So one side you got basketball every year, baseball. And on this side you got the soccer. So y'all can play soccer if you're interested in playing soccer. And right here they got another parking a parking spot over here, like I said. As well as the um the workout center over here. Y'all want to work out? Y'all can bring your weights over here, drive over here, and just park up. You know, get your workout on. Right by the water. So it's a cool little, little workout area right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could do y'all thing right here. Get your weight up real quick. This is this is a cool spot right here. Workout bars, chin up area and all that. Got you. So you got your little sets right here that y'all can work out on, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? They getting they workout on, they chilling. That's what it's about, man. Enjoying your day. Let's walk over here. We could show y'all the water from this this side. Like I said, you got the um. It's like the little bridge area right here. You can just, it connects both sides. So y'all can um, walk right over through this bridge thing right here. And got the water. More water. So the whole park is surrounded by water. And this is like, this. definitely like the, I believe this is one of the coolest parks in the neighborhood of Bayonne. I believe this is the biggest park here. Um, so yeah, man, take a detour. Come work out, come hang out. Come chill, enjoy your summer. Come work out. I'm about to start getting back on this, on this workout day too, so. Those of you that's interested in working out, y'all can meet me over here in Bayonne and we can get our shit on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not exactly sure how long I'll be out here, but um, looking to make a little detour. Like I said, we're gonna be heading out to Alaska in a minute. And we also gonna be heading out to Canada, to uh, Quebec. We're gonna, we're gonna head out to Montreal in a minute. You know, shout out to my boy Tokyo out there in Canada. He invited me out to Canada, so I'm gonna go check him out real quick. And they got the soccer games going on. Everybody out here, man, it's pack house today. Pack house. Soccer. You know, they call it football certain places, they call it soccer in America. You know? Internationally, they call it football. This is different football. So you got the soccer field here. And this is the parking, parking garage where you can just park your car. And 
thing. Just chill, man. It's cool, cool, cool park right here. Cool park. Don't be afraid to walk, man. Get to see a lot. Get to see a lot when you're just moving around. You know what I'm saying? I encourage everybody to tune into us with Swaggin' These Travels. You know? It was a lot of it was a lot chilly out, so I didn't do too many videos um recently, but we back on it. We back at it. And they also have another workout area right here, so you could go check out this workout area as well. The another section for working out. If that other section is packed up, I actually could come over here and work out. And this is like the street way right here. The uh, actually you could travel all the way through. So you could drive around, find your parking spot, whatever um, location you decide to want to hang out at. You go always find parking and stuff like that on that side. And over here, this is another the other side. They got the water over here too. So there's different locations. You don't have to be confined to one area. It's a huge, huge park. So, yeah, man, this is Bayonne. This is Bayonne, New Jersey, the Hudson County Park. Beautiful day to just chill, man. So you guys are bored and want to take a nice walk. This is a cool spot to be at. I just want to show you guys a little bit of um, the Bayonne area, a little bit of, uh, of the Bayonne Park, really. You know what I mean? This is a cool park to be at if you guys are looking to hang out in the summertime. So tune in with us, swagging these travels. We're going to Quebec. We're going to be heading out to Washington, D.C. Um, we're going to be heading out to Alaska. And we're going to take y'all across the water as well. We're going to go to Thailand and different places, man. Shout out to I Am Mawa. He's from um, Kenya. I've been watching a lot of your videos, bro, and I like what you're doing. Very inspirational. Shouts to Check and Effect. Shouts to Ace Live, you know. And shouts to all the other YouTubers that's doing their thing out there, that's inspiring others to do their thing. And I hope you guys also um, catch some of my videos. Um, I'm from New York City. I'm from Harlem, New York City. Um, so I'll be taking you guys throughout Harlem and show you a little bit of where I'm from. And, and just, you know, we're just going to keep making these videos. I hope you guys continue to tune in, like, share, comment, subscribe, and go get you some gear. This is Swaganese Worldwide. This is Swaganese, the brand, you know, and y'all can tune in with us. We got a lot of cool gear, a lot of cool drip, and this is how we moving out here, man. here and you could drive your car right through so you never have to worry about finding parking or find, figuring out what you're gonna do with the car so this is definitely a cool cool area cool park to hang out at and we about to head out to the other side and hit the streets go find something to eat Maybe just grab that milkshake or ice cream or whatever. But this is a cool, cool area to walk your dogs. Stuff like that. Yeah, bring your kids. Whatever you want to do. Bring yourself, most importantly. So this is the other side. We pretty much did a detour through. Um, I'm not gonna walk too far over that way, but. This is, you know, Bayonne area, New Jersey. And this is the other side. And we're gonna exit out this way. I believe the ice cream parlor is like on 40 something street. Just like New York City, they got streets. 
So you could just follow the streets. We on 37th Street right here. This is the outside of the park right here. So this is the Bayonne County Park. And this is the outside of it right here. And we're back on the streets. So we're gonna head over, go find some food, go find some ice cream. And House, they got the gates, cameras. This is a house. This is a this is a cool house right here. This looks like it's super weatherproof. Um, they probably got solar panels on the top of this thing. As you can see, they got a solar panel right there, right on the park. They got it on each each one. That's kind of cool. This is a nice nice house right here, man. How y'all doing? All right. Yeah, this is Bayonne, man. This is the type of cool houses they got here. Got their own garage. And even over here, they got another park on this side too. So if you don't want to do, do the big park, you can actually just do the little, little area right there and just check it out. Got cool houses, man. This is a nice neighborhood to live in. So yeah, man. Swagging these travels, swagging these worldwide. We heading over to get some ice cream, and we just enjoying the day today, man. It's a beautiful day out. No sense of being stuck up in the house when you could be out enjoying the weather. You know, jogging or whatever you like to do, you can do it. The world is yours. And this is Bayonne area. So when I move, I'm thinking to probably make a detour towards this area. It's a nicer, quiet space. And yeah, man, this is what it's about, you know? Nice, cool blocks. You ain't gotta worry about too much drama. You ain't gotta worry about the, the noise, unnecessary noise that sometimes I, uh, I get annoyed by. Uh, being over there where I'm at right now, but God willing, it won't be too long. We'll be making a, a, a move to nicer, cleaner area, you know. Although my area is not bad, it's not that bad, but you got remnants of the that hood shit. And I left kind of New York City to get away from the noise and the crowds and, you know, so... Yeah, definitely Bayonne is a, a great option if you're looking to move out to New Jersey. Never heard of Bayonne, you can look it up. It's B-A-Y-O-N-N-E. -N -N -E. That's the correct spelling of Bayonne. So you could Google it. And you can see the neighborhood, man. It's a nice, peaceful, quiet neighborhood. You know? Nice, nice neighborhood. And this is this is how we moving, man. I be trying to get people to come hang out and shit, do different things with me. But nevertheless, we gonna do it regardless. If anybody comes or not, we're still gonna be outside doing our thing. You know, swagging the show. And that's how we moving, bro. They got apartment buildings here too. So it's not just houses, they got apartment buildings as well. Like this one right here. Something that you probably would see in the Bronx or you know, different towns. Nice cool complex here. So yeah, man. And as I was told, I, I spoke to a few people that live in Bayonne, that's from Bayonne area. Um, this actually goes and connects. If you in Bayonne and you go through Bayonne, it actually connects to um, Staten Island, New York. So, we're right next door to New York, pretty much. 
going down this way. So if you head further down that way, you'll go, you connect right to um, Staten Island. I'm not exactly sure what side of Staten Island that would be, but you definitely will be in Staten Island if you head over that way. So, yeah, man. Not too far away from home, not too far away from New York City. It's right here. It's just the other side. It's not the city, but it is New York, Staten Island area. And this is New Jersey. So New Jersey is right next door to, to New York, Staten Island. And this is where we at. So we're going to go find some food. You know what I'm saying? I feel like probably Chinese would be a good option right now. Um, Chinese food sounds like a good, good thing to eat. But if we can't find a good Chinese spot to sit down and eat, we'll probably just... Um, I know there's a Spanish restaurant. Um, they pretty, their food is pretty good. Definitely actually good. So I might stop over there and then stop by the um, ice cream parlor and have a, have a milkshake and then we'll wrap it up from there. But yeah, man, this is Swag and these Travels Bayonne. Nice town, right? So I just try to bring y'all like cool different towns this is mainly, you know, like a lot of YouTubers, like um, I am Mawa. He's from Kenya, so he shows a lot of different stuff for for people that's in Africa that they could get a um, from, get familiar with New York City and you know different uh, countries and different stuff like that. My channel is pretty much to show people where I'm from that you don't have to be confined to the hood all the time, and that there's a lot other things to do. You know what I mean? There's cool things to do. You don't have to be scared to detour or to make moves on your own. You know what I'm saying? Go go travel around. So this is my channel is pretty much showing people that come from the projects in New York City, big projects and stuff like that. That there's other things to do out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's a lot of other cool towns to be at. You know, away from the noise. You know, you want to take your family out the hood, you could find a nice cool spot. I'm sure the rent is not exactly that expensive like some places that you might visit, but you have access to all the cool parks, um, eateries, and you know, just regular stuff, man. They got a Walmart out here too. They got a giant Walmart. So like in most towns, they got um, giant Walmarts, Home Depot, Lowe's, all that type of stuff. So, and that's pretty much like, if you were to travel, like going towards this way, I believe it's like it was on 30 something street. I'm on 40th street right now, Bayonne. But like on 30, 30 something street, going towards that way, they have um, a giant Walmart. So a lot of times when I want to order groceries, I, I pretty much will order groceries from that Walmart there and get them shipped to the house. So yeah, man, this is Bayonne, New Jersey. Nice, quiet town. Nice little town. It's quiet. Man. It's a beautiful day out. Nice, beautiful day. So, for y'all that's going to tune into the show, um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in with me. Um, hope you guys continue to tune in with me. And like, comment, share, subscribe. All of the above. You know what I mean? Tell a friend to tell a friend. That is him again. Gunner Boy Harlem. Talk to me. Bayonne. Bayonne, New Jersey. You heard me? You outside, man. This is, they got a cool bar right here. It's like a bar and grill. Y'all want to get a drink? You know what I'm saying? Have some food. They got that right there. So i tune back in with y'all in a minute because we're going to find this food right here and I'll show you what we're eating on. But yeah, man, we, we found the restaurant right here. This is Dominican spot right here. We can get some food right here. So we're going to tune in. I'm sure y'all already know what Spanish food looks like. So we're probably going to get some rice and beans, some beef stew. And then we're going to, um, right next door to this spot right here, um, we're going to eat right there. But right next door, they have the... Um, Magic Fountain ice cream parlor right here. 
I had um I had a milkshake out of here the other day, probably like a week ago. But they got the Magic Fountain um, ice cream shop. So you can grab your milkshakes, you can grab your, you know, ice cream cones or whatever you want to get. And Italian ice. And you can just grab it from right here. This is a cool spot right here. They make good milkshakes and stuff like that. So um, that's what we're going to be having. I'm sure you guys already know what ice cream look like. So we don't have to really show you guys. But as you can see, he has a nice, cool. How you doing, man? That looks good. Actually, I'm going to get food and then I'm coming back. So yeah, man. Cool, cool neighborhood, bro. This is Bayonne, New Jersey. You know, everybody's having their ice cream over there. They got the cool sit-down spot. And we're gonna get food out of here real quick. So we're gonna get some beef stew, some rice and beans, and that's what we're gonna do, man. I'll just tune back in with y'all in a minute. That's what we eat eating on, man. Sorry. They got a lot of cool options, man. I want food. This is the place to be. So we eating on. We got the beef stew here. We got the white rice and the red beans. And I got a passion fruit. Wash that down, man. So this is the restaurant here, bro. Y'all interested in coming to get food while y'all in Bayonne? This is the place to be. And. So we're gonna eat this food. Then we're gonna stop by the ice cream parlor, get a milkshake, and then we're gonna keep it pushing from there, all right? Y'all tune back in with me. This is Swag in These Travels. I am your host, El Gunner. Gunner's Great Escapes, Swag in These Travels, Swag in These Brands, Swag in These Worldwide. Tune in with us. So yeah, the beef stew, the red beans, and white rice, it's amazing, y'all. I highly recommend this spot here. Right on Bayonne. We're on like 40, I believe 42nd Street. In Bayonne, New Jersey. So this is what we eat, man. I can have a bite. You know what I mean? First bite goes to you guys. Well actually the second bite. But yeah, this food is amazing. Mm. Mm. So glad I stopped here. I'm gonna finish up with the food and I'll tune back in with you guys in a minute. So we just got out the restaurant, man. I feel like taking a nap now. So I thought I was gonna have ice cream, but I'm not even sure if I want ice cream anymore. Like, I'm so full, I just gotta take a break right now. So yeah, man, we just got out the restaurant. Food was amazing. You know, um, if you're ever in the Bayonne area, I highly recommend Dominican Power Restaurant. The restaurant there is Spanish. Right here, Bayonne, um, between 43rd and 42nd Street. So, I highly recommend the food, man. That shit was slamming, actually. I couldn't even finish it all because it was so much, but um, it wasn't a lot either. It was pretty, pretty um, cheap for for a good meal. Um, came up to what? $14.39. You guys can see it on the receipt. Just 14 bucks, 15 bucks, you know what I mean? Have a good meal out in Bayonne. So things are not really expensive out here. You don't have to worry about that price wise. Um, $15 ain't really much money, especially for, for some good food. So yeah, man. So I'm really considering getting the ice cream from this spot here, but I think I gotta let my food settle in for a little bit. Otherwise, I'll be like super um, sluggish and tired. I pretty much decided that I'm, I am gonna get a, um, a milkshake. I got a cookies and cream milkshake. Here's the menu here. So the pricing is right here on the window. Not really expensive. Slushies, uh, Sundays. grab your stuff to go. You know, these are the prices. And this is the Magic Fountain spot. So I got me a cookies and cream, a small cookies and cream milkshake. Came up to the what, a $5.95, so that's a decent price for a milkshake. And I highly recommend this spot because I had a milkshake from here before. So here's my milkshake. And 
this is what we having, man, as dessert after that good meal. So, if you guys are ever in the Bayonne area, you can stop at the Magic Fountain ice cream shop here and grab you some ice cream. Milkshake, you know what I mean? Whatever you're going to get, man. They got slushies and all that. Sundays. So this is my dessert after having that meal. And I pretty much will be, I'll be sleepy after this. Again, we out in Bayonne, New Jersey, man. Bayonne, New Jersey. And this is where we at. Bayonne, New Jersey, man. Ice cream. Swag and East. We call this a Swag and East milkshake. When I'm drinking milkshake, it's a Swag and East milkshake. You know what I mean? And that's what it is, man. We outside. Another episode of Swag and East Travels brought to you by your host, L Gunner. I am L Gunner on the gram, Swag and East Travels on the gram, and Swag and East Brand on the gram. That actually rhyme, right? Yeah, man. Bayonne. Right. Swagging these worldwide. Go get you some. Milkshake brings all the girls to the yard. And then like, never in yards yard. And then like. Milkshake is busting, y'all. That means it's good. Busting milkshakes, man. Magic Fountain here out in Bayonne, New Jersey. As y'all can see from what I've been showing you guys, like, it's mad quiet out here, man. It's like, what more can you ask for in a nice, quiet neighborhood? Bayonne, New Jersey, milkshakes. <laughs> Bayonne, New Jersey, and milkshakes, man. And good sun, you know what I mean? Nice peaceful surroundings. They got like a nice condo building here. Um, guys wanna, you know, find a new spot, cool spot right here on the strip. This is a cool spot. And right up the way, probably like two blocks over, you got the park, so not too far fetched from the park. And you can take a walk over there and just go chill out in the park, you know what I mean? Which I am about to go do as well. So I guess I'll tune back in with you guys on the next video hope you continue to follow the blogs the vlogs you know swagging these vlogs swagging these travels and keep following us keep tuning in keep liking keep subscribing <coughs> tell a friend to tell a friend man we we're just getting started with this thing we only been doing it for a couple of months you know we missed out on a lot of other stuff i used to travel a lot so we're just gonna pick back up retrace our steps and that's what we doing these days, man. We just traveling all through the cities of New Jersey for now. And as I said, we'll be uh, going international and taking you guys across different um, different um, landscapes, you know? We're gonna go, we're gonna start out in Canada. And I believe we're from Canada, we'll probably go head over to Alaska. Got my bro out there in Alaska, so we're gonna go check out the bro. He's also from Harlem. I mean, Harlem to Alaska. Man. That's how we gonna do that, man. Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Hope you guys continue to enjoy your day. Hope you guys are taking advantage of this beautiful day, as I am, enjoying my milkshake. And again, tune in to us, Swagganese Travels, Swagganese.com. Go get you some cool gear, man. You know what I mean? Get your bike, bring your bike outside. That's what they doing. Bike outside, chilling. Dogs is out, they barking.
nice cool neighborhood, man. This is what makes me happy. To be out and about in a cool, nice, quiet neighborhood on a good summer day. Enjoying the park, enjoying the waterfront, enjoying the milkshake. Just living life, bro. Enjoying your life, man. You only get one life, as I say in a lot of my videos. So it's important that you enjoy it to the fullest. Take advantage. Don't be scared to detour. Don't be scared to branch out. Take a shot on yourself. That's what I, if anything I've been showing you guys is to show, show you guys that taking a shot on yourself is worth it. You know what I mean? And I was telling people I was going to do this and I was going to do, start doing this, uh, the travel channel again. This time I'm, you know, I activated and taking a shot on myself, you know? If you guys can help me get to a thousand subscribers or even 2000 subscribers, that'd be excellent. You know what I mean? That'd be a good boost to energy. That'd be a good boost to keep me going and let me know that you guys are actually tuning in and liking the content and also liking the clothing, you know what I mean? So I, Highly recommend that you guys um, go visit the website and go make a purchase, man. Everything is straightforward. If anything is not as seen on the website, you guys can send it back. I'll send you a full refund. So, you know, we like to do good business, good positive business. And that's what it's all about, man. It's about sharing positivity with the world, man. This is not just for locals. This is also for people that's international. People that's looking to come to America or, or to come to the New Jersey area or any area that I've shown you guys. If you find some type of serenity in these um, videos or in these neighborhoods that I show you, there's an option for you. You know what I mean? To come venture out, come move to these different places and you know, expand your horizons, man. This is actually a great, great town to be in. You know, I remember walking around. A lot of people say it was racist out here and stuff like that, but I don't really see any of that so far. It's been everything has been cool. You know what I mean? I'm not out here doing no no crime or anything. So that's not none of my concern really. You know what I mean? For those of you out outside doing the wrong thing sometimes, that might be something that you might be a little scared, scared about, but we outside doing positive stuff. Look at this school right here. They got—I don't know if this was a school, Saint Vincent de Paul. No, just like a little um, abandoned school or church or something. This looks like a cool location to shoot a video at. So, I always try to share you, share with you guys like cool ideas and cool um, locations for video shoots or photo shoots and stuff like that. Just like I did the waterfront out in Hoboken. Also, that's like next door to right, right, um, Newport, New Jersey, um, Jersey City area. Yeah, man. Hope this video wasn't too boring, being that it's not lively. It's like not, it's not like New York City where there's a lot of traffic and a lot of people out. But um, this is just another cool. Um, quiet um, vlog, you know what I mean? This is one, this one is for like pe peaceful people that like just to be, you know, somewhere where it's nice and quiet and cool and chilling. That's really, really about for me. Today was one of the cool, cool Sundays. I really enjoyed doing this vlog and I hope you guys enjoy watching this vlog. You know, I try not to do so much talking exactly, but Sometimes I just like have to narrate and give you guys a insight to what I'm seeing and what I'm, you know, what I'm observing. So that's why I'll give you kind of synopsis as I go along with these videos. But yeah, man, I'll show you more of the neighborhood now, just so you guys can get a glimpse of what I'm seeing. So yeah, man, we're heading back to uh, JFK Boulevard over here, which is right next door to the park so that's right off the strip um jfk right here and you got the park right here in the backdrop 
know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So yeah, man, I, I like I really, really, really highly recommend you guys come to the park. I highly recommend you guys come to this park. I mean, for me, it's like super calm and super, super cool, bro. <clears throat> Not to drag it out or be corny about things, but yeah, man. Probably could find some of these apartments on Zillow. Type in Bayonne, New Jersey. So when I get in, I'll probably be looking at some new new places to live. Because my neighborhood, that building over there is not really up to the standard of living that I'm trying to, you know, uphold. You know, but I'm not judging nobody because I come from it, come from the hood. But when you're trying to do other things and do positive things in the world, change up your surroundings, man. That's the best thing to do. That's my advice to anybody that's out and about doing their thing. Sometimes your neighborhood makes a big difference in terms of how you view things and your out your outlook on life and how you feel. So yeah, man, we back at the park. So we just did a full lap. I took you guys through the park. I took you guys to the restaurant to get some food. Um, took you guys a little bit through about Jersey City and. We got ice cream, you know what I'm saying? We got the ice cream, still sipping on the ice cream nice and slow. And we're just gonna tuck it back in, man. They got another school right here, Washington Community School right here. You know what I mean? Right across the street from the park. Playground area for the kids. And this is Swagging These Travels, man. This is just, just a cool, cool, cool day, man. Cool day, cool swag, man. Got the J's on. We did a lot of walking in these J's today. So we're gonna have to throw these in the box, you know what I'm saying? Wipe them down, throw them in the box, let them things marinate, man. So we can keep our stuff looking nice and clean, you feel me? So yeah, I'm gonna head back and enjoy the rest of my day with the park. And again, you guys tune in, swagging these travels. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, man. Peace. Around the world, I'm in a armpit. I travel all across the world, I'm looking for a forest. Big bags of money, that's a forest. I need more cash in the bank, middle finger.